Hi Aries, welcome to September 2016. Now the curveballs are coming fast and furious from every direction as you move into September and that's because there is a new moon in Virgo which is a solar eclipse on the 1st of September. That brings the energy and the action to your health, your well-being, your vitality, your work your work style, your work life, your lifestyle, your health habits, how you feed yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. Eclipses shift the gears. They're turning points. They call you to action. And this one has its ruling planet retrograde, Mercury, he will be retrograde until the 22nd. He'll go direct on the 22nd. And that's when we'll really feel the energy shift out of this perhaps chaos and intensity that will be happening as you go into September. And with this Virgo solar eclipse, Mercury's got a lot of muscle and he's stirring the pot. Mercury is the only planet that can move through all levels of consciousness. He can go to the unconscious. He can travel the subconscious as well as the conscious. And he is making powerful aspects this month that is stirring the pot with all of the planets. Now, the Virgo solar eclipse the sun and the moon are coupled together in Virgo in this area for you that has to do with your work your lifestyle and your health it is being opposed by Neptune when Neptune opposes something there can be deception you're dealing with there can be lies there can be people not telling the truth Saturn is T-squaring this Virgo eclipse and he's squaring off with Neptune this will finish on September 10th that's the final Saturn Neptune square this has been going on all this year we're coming to the end of it as we uh, move into the fall here in the northern hemisphere so with this energy it is a very challenging energy because Neptune rules the spiritual world it rules metaphysics it rules realities beyond your day-to-day uh, -day consciousness it rules intuition and imagination compassion unity consciousness Saturn rules the physical reality Saturn examines and tests everything he touches he sets limits and boundaries. He asks for commitments and there will be consequences to our actions and behavior. So with those two fighting each other and entangling this uh, eclipse, this, this Virgo eclipse, this is making for, uh, I think, a lot of uh, miscommunication. There's going to be a lot of arguments with people because with Mercury involved in it, Mercury is the uh, ruling planet of Virgo and he is part of all of this and he's retrograde that you're going to see breakdown in communication. There could be challenges with um, people at work. There could be you know things being thrown at you from every direction and you're just like okay you know <laughs> I need a time out and do that do what you need to maintain your fire because there's a lot of water energy in here this month with the Neptune so involved with this Virgo new moon eclipse followed by the Pisces which is ruled by Neptune full moon lunar eclipse on the 16th so you're in eclipse season and eclipses create endings and beginnings when something ends something begins for you it's in the area of your health and your work 
So, you know, what needs to change for you? You're going to have an opportunity here in September to really look at what you're doing, how you're going about it, how effective is it. Step back from the drama because the pot is being stirred and people are going to be misunderstanding, uh, taking things personal, overreacting. And remember, the power is with the person who acts, not reacts. When you react, that's powerless. When you act, that's powerful. And so you want to use this energy to clean out and clear out what's no longer serving you in the area of your life work balance, of your um, spiritual growth, your personal growth, what's in the way of you achieving what you want, and what are you ready to let go of? What are you ready to release? So, you know, this energy is going to be creating, you know, that um, deception. There could be, you know, a lot of lies going on. There could even be some betrayals, you know. So this is an energy where you really want to be uh, taking excellent care of yourself, practicing extreme self-care so that you're not getting caught up in the drama that others may be causing at work. Right? And so you don't want to get pulled into the lies, the gossip, the deception, the betrayals that this energy can invoke with those of a lower consciousness. You know, those that know better do better. And so if you're around people of a lower consciousness that like to stir the pot anyway, they're going to have a lot of food <laughs> here this first part of September with these eclipses. And the challenges with uh, this Saturn-Neptune energy, because it's a very, um, you know, challenging energy. And, you know, the best strategy for navigating this first three weeks of September is to trust your own inner authority. Trust your intuition. If something doesn't feel right, it's not right. Don't be moving at mock speed and then you're missing the details and you're missing what's really going on and then you come to find out you know that this person uh, is not honest wasn't honest with you and you stepped over that so don't step over things if there's red flags going off then you want to stop and you want to look at what is uh, happening here and how it is you know impacting you now you know, this is about you not getting washed away in this energy and reclaiming that Aries fighting spirit, right? So that will ignite your inner fire. And the good news is Mars is on the move. Mars enters Capricorn on the 27th, and that takes your life to the top. So I'll talk about that in a minute. But you know, this isn't really even about you, what's happening. You know, this, this uh, Virgo new moon and the Pisces full moon. Yes, it's happening in these areas of your life, you know, but it's not about you. So stay on the sidelines. Stay out of it. When people are going at it and they're stirring the pot and they're causing arguments or they're trying to create drama, Go, go for a walk, go for a meditation, do nice things for yourself, take good care of you, stay out of the fray because it's going to get, you know, intense and, you know, for you, it's not in a bad area because it's happening uh, in the area of, you know, work and work life and then the Pisces full moon on the 16th is happening behind the scenes for you and you know so that is you know a, an opportunity for you to be um, traveling uh, meditating finishing up unfinished business what needs to complete for you in September here that's an important thing now there is some good things in here as well uh, Mercury will couple with Jupiter on the second and that can be um, 
a breakthrough. It can be very inspiring for you. It's just like right after the eclipse, a few hours after the eclipse, these two couple together and that can give you like, okay, here's my best strategy. Here's how I'm going to avoid so-and-so and I'm just going to move right around the obstacles that are on my path in this area of work and keep focusing on what I need to be doing. The Sun will trine Pluto in the area of your um, destiny in the world, your career, what you're doing in the world, and that could be where, my gosh, they, they're looking to you at work, like, okay, we got to turn to the Aries because they're the only one offering leadership right now, and so don't be surprised if they ask you to step up and lead the group or you know take more of responsibility and leadership role here with others at the workplace and you know and that's up to you what you feel what you want to be doing now the Saturn square Neptune is on the 10th and that is not a nice energy it's not a pleasant energy and the best way to manifest it is to release any guilt you're feeling any blame you're feeling stay out of victimhood because this energy creates the victim where we can feel like a victim we can feel like a victim to our own addictions or or needs or wants and so stay out of that remember the power is with the one who acts and not reacts and focused on your what you're doing you know what you need to do do what empowers you do what gives you power then we're, we're at this Pisces full moon lunar eclipse on the 16th and that's where you want to look at what's draining you what's taking your energy where are you leaking energy right is it certain people in your life it, you know who's draining your energy who's taking up your time set better boundaries you don't have to be available to everybody okay you need to be available for you because you're a fire sign and now you're in this this area of water and what does water do it puts out the fire so you don't want to be like you know counseling and coaching and all your energies going out to all the you know the needy people and you know and then you're like oh my gosh I have no energy I'm so tired I can't get anything done now I can't get the things done I want to get done you know boundaries voicemail do, you know don't pick up the phone shut the phone off and do things that give you energy that give you strength that give you power that empower you and strengthen you this full moon is pulling you behind the scenes so you're not going to have your usual firepower and that means it's time to complete things full moons bring things to completions new moons start new things eclipses end things but when something ends something begins these planets only take what's obsolete. They will not take what you need for your soul evolution. Not your ego evolution, your soul evolution. So make sure you're discerning what's a real need for you and what does the ego want, right? And so this is a really powerful month. It may be the most powerful month of the year. It's a game changer. Eclipses, they shift us. And there's always, you know, there's these major cosmic downloads going on anyway, raising your vibration, requiring you to take really good care of yourself, get extra rest, eat really well, exercise, you know, the things that make you feel strong. It's the mind-body-spirit connection that matters here. The more you strengthen your body, the more you strengthen your mind. The more you strengthen your mind and body, the more you strengthen your spirit. The stronger your spirit the stronger the mind and the body. So be on the lookout because these energies can be incredibly draining and but they're also opening you up to really look at how you're giving your power away, how you may be um, too focused on what others need from you or want from you rather than what you need and want for you and that's an opportunity to make positive changes.
Virgo is about wholeness and completion. And so you want to be doing things that make you feel whole, make you feel complete. Pisces is about spirituality and connecting to the divine, connecting to your higher power and creating that life work balance for you. Not work life, life work. Without you, what do we have? So you want to be living your best life and you want to be achieving your, your, your dreams come true. Now Virgo, you know, is that area of work for you and Jupiter enters Libra on the 9th. This is good news because with Jupiter in Libra, this is going to bring a lot of harmony to all of us and to the world. And this is what the world needs right now is people just calming down and wanting love and harmony and prosperity more than war. And so with Jupiter going into Libra on the 9th, this is really good. And it's excellent for you because he now moves above the horizon in your astrology and he's in the area of love and relationships and partnerships. And that means other people want to help you. Other people want to see you win. And hey, why not? And so I love it. I love Jupiter and Libra. I absolutely love this energy. And then Mercury goes direct on the 22nd. This is good news too, because now communication can get back on track and any misunderstandings with Jupiter and Libra can now be smoothed over and uh, the energies are going to start to calm down and it's going to give everybody time to assimilate what's been going on with these eclipses and move forward. Then the sun enters Libra on the 22nd, you know, right after Mercury goes direct and you have happy fall equinox in the northern hemisphere, happy spring equinox in the southern hemisphere. I know you are all so happy to hear that. You're, you've got spring now. And that's good news, my, uh, my beautiful Aussies and everyone south of the equator. <laughs> is, uh, spring is blossoming for you. Now, this is a really good energy. And for you, it's now bringing the focus from work relationships to all relationships. So it's almost interesting with you this month, Aries, because it's like... It's not really about you. Others are looking to you for leadership. They're looking to you for guidance, even spiritual guidance. You may even feel like the guru or the minister. And some of you are that. Some of you are counselors and coaches and, and leaders and ministers. And people are really going to be looking to you this month for that leadership and that guidance and inspiration even that it's going to be okay we're going to get through these eclipses we're going to get through this saturn square neptune nonsense and we're going to come out the other side stronger happier more prosperous and that is your message and it's true because you know as the energies move into libra for you it just gets better it just gets better so you know the first few weeks stay out of the fray don't get caught up into what other people are doing. And then by the third week, you're going to really start to feel that clarity and inspiration as the planets move into Libra. Venus enters Scorpio on the 23rd and then Pluto moves direct on the 26th, followed by Mars entering Capricorn on the 27th. This is good news. This is fantastic because Mars is taking you to the top. So as Mars moves out of your sister sign, Sagittarius, trying in any planets you have in Aries, your sun in Aries, your moon in Aries, your rising sign, and so on, he then moves into Capricorn, which is your destiny in the world, your profession in the world, your reputation in the world, your unique individual contribution to humanity. And that is all about promoting you and moving you up. So Mars is taking you to the top. And Mercury is going to be trining Pluto from September 10th through October 1st. This is good news too. 
and once Mercury goes direct on the 22nd, then things can really fall into place here. And there's a gorgeous Libra new moon on the 30th of September. I love this new moon. And there's no challenging aspects to it. I mean, yes, as the moon separates, you know, from uh, the new moon, it will have to face Pluto and then Uranus. However, that is hours away and then days away from the sun. And this Libra new moon has no challenging aspects to it and is coupled with Jupiter and Libra. This is good news for everybody and for you too because it happens in the area of love and relationships, your public, and so there's a fresh start in here for you in regards to love and relationship and being successful and achieving what you want. I love this energy. Saturn is sextiling the new moon and that is all about, you know, for some of you, you may be getting married. Wait till Mercury goes direct on the 22nd. If you're getting married, wait until after the 22nd to get married. If you want to get married on the Libra new moon on the 30th, fantastic. Because you always want Venus involved. And Venus, um, yes, yeah, she's in Scorpio, but that is all about intimacy and deep connection and prosperity, other people giving you money. Okay, so Aries. Ride the wave the first couple of weeks in here with September. Stay out of the fray. Navigate uh, any nonsense going on in the workplace. You do that by taking really good care of you and just meditating, you know, staying quiet, not getting involved in, in the drama that's about to be stirred. And then when you do that, it's like the universe is going to totally reward you because once Mercury goes direct and we head into the equinox, things really shift for you above the horizon. And so love is definitely on for you. And it's deep love and it's committed love and it's profound love. And, you know, for some of you, you may be, you know, taking your vows and getting married, doing something legal that marries you. For others, this is a time where you deepen that relationship that you're in. Your relationship goes deeper. Your relationship commits and even to a deeper level than where you've been. And it's beautiful. And any strain that's been going on between you and your partner is about to be all smoothed out by Jupiter and Libra and the gorgeous Libra new moon on the 30th. So it's rocky as you go into September, but as you come out, it's nice, it's harmonious. And so you go into October with a lot of harmony. There's no challenges to your money. In fact, there could even be a promotion in here for you in regards to work where, you know, you get, you know, someone else gets, you know, removed and you get placed into a position of authority or higher power uh, than you've been in. And, you know, that can happen um, any time this month. I would suggest you n waiting until Mercury goes direct on the 22nd before you take any new opportunities for you know, a promotion or a new job or anything like that. But you are seen as someone who's really good at what you do. They want you in leadership role. You're being called to leadership this month. And that's pretty exciting. Spiritually, you're blossoming, you're growing, you're, you're reaching new levels of consciousness. You're going to notice that you're really connecting to the divine this month. And it is... Um, amazing what's happening with you. Now your health, that's the question, especially at the beginning of the month. Remember, your wealth is in your health. The better you feel, the more you can do. The better you feel, the more you can achieve. And so spend that first three weeks of this month, September, exercising, resting, meditating, clearing things out, you know, clearing the consciousness out, filling yourself with light, visualize the white light coming in through the crown chakra, just filling you up with light, positive energy, because you have a lot to look forward to. Mars is taking you to the top. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plusing my podcast. 
Aries, you are rocking awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you would like for me to take a detailed look at your astrology, it's very easy. The links are below in the show more section, as well as in the cards. Until next time, ride the wave and, you know, go to the top. You're on your way to the top.